This is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you the 10 hidden features behind the Galaxy Note Edge. These will be broken down in two types of videos. One, the entire video, and you can watch each video separately to see which categories really matter to you. Alright guys, let's get into the 10 hidden features on the Galaxy Note Edge. A great hidden feature on the Note Edge is Wi-Fi profile sharing. Now, how you get to this is scrolling down and holding down the Wi-Fi icon. And then hitting the three dots here. And this allows you to share your Wi-Fi profile. This is really good when someone comes over your house and you don't want to necessarily give them your password. You just want to allow them to use Wi-Fi for maybe a short period of time say two hours, three hours. This even can work at your job. If a guest comes in and you're not really supposed to give them your Wi-Fi, well, then you can just share Wi-Fi like this. Now, when you share Wi-Fi profile, you just hit this icon and you choose the Wi-Fi profile you wanna share, and then you can share it for a certain amount of time or unlimited. This just means that they never even need to know the password, that you can just kind of give them uh, the internet connection very easily. So this is it and it's just very simple. Any phone can receive this that has Wi-Fi direct. So it makes it very simple and easy to use. Another great feature is link preview. Link preview is a really great feature that just comes from simply using your pen and hovering over a link. This allows the person to get a preview for the link before clicking on it. This is obviously very important for, you know, if you ever get a link and you're not too sure if you should open it, well, that's fine. Just link preview it before opening it. That way you can make sure that it's okay to open and not something that you want to open either during that time or at all. Link preview helps out a lot for all of your general day needs so you don't open that wrong link at that wrong time. The next hidden feature comes from accessibility. Under personalization in the settings section, you will go under accessibility and then under hearing. And under hearing, we will be able to see sound detectors. That's right, the Note Edge can actually detect two different types of sounds uh, in conjunction with a gear watch. You can actually use baby crying detector and doorbell detector. These allow you to literally uh, hear if a baby's crying and it will ring on your gear watch and it will allow you to have your phone by the doorbell and again, ring your gear to let you know that a doorbell has been ringing. This is very easy and simple to use and all you need is a sample of either, which if you have a baby, I'm sure you have a sample of them crying and obviously for the doorbell, you can just ring your own doorbell and then be able to use it. This is really interesting features, and again, just a very well hidden feature on the Galaxy Note Edge. Another hidden feature under accessibility is going to be, again, under settings, personalization, and then accessibility. Under this section right here, you're going to find assistant menu. Assistant menu brings a whole new level of usefulness to the Note Edge. And although many Android devices have had it in the past, what makes this one so special and so different is because you can do this, lock screen. One-handed, I can turn off the lock screen. This is such a great feature to have on this device that has the lock screen all the way up at the top and it's not easy to get to. Now, the really nice part about this, of course, is generally um, you can have it customized. So I have these uh, four on my first page. Then I have recent menu screenshot volume rocker, which I find to be very nice. Just you can even switch it to vibrate right away or sound. Again, just very useful. And you can even do a one handed pinch to zoom uh, device options settings. And so device options kind of like when you hold the power button down again, hard to get from this side. And finally, of course, settings to change them. This is where you can edit and reorder different things that you would want on here. And you can also have it do um, 
different settings in different apps so you can have it do different things in the gallery the settings section everything will just be used for that specific section so that's nice as well and if you decide to use the mouse or the magnification it has more specifics on what you can do with that so yes assistant menu is really really great on the galaxy note edge now the next category comes from language and input on your keyboard for Samsung, it's a really nice keyboard because it has an entire numbers row built in. Not all keyboards have that, but what really makes it stand out is actually when you go to it and under the Samsung keyboard, you have a really nice ability called My Hotkeys. My Hotkeys allow you to enter in a shortcut for a phrase that you use all the time. So if you were to use, you know, your name, you could just type in your name first and last if you want. In this case, we'll just type first on there. We'll type YOLO on here. And we'll type I love, I love you, baby. On here, we can type a number in. And just to kind of give you an idea of, oops. To kind of give you an idea of how you can use these different words. So these are really great so that when you type something new per se, as in if we go to Google and we just hold down one, we can hold down two, we can hold down three, and you know, you can just get all of these words out very quickly and very easily. So this is a great feature to have and it's uh, again, my hotkeys which really comes in handy as you can see. Another great hidden feature on the Galaxy Note Edge comes from power saving. But this isn't just turning your phone so that it saves battery. It actually is a different method called a grayscale phone. To change this phone into a grayscale phone, all you need to do is hold down the power saving portion and then turn it on. Now, by default, your restricted performance would be on as well. However, just because we only want to change the phone to a grayscale, we're going to not do these features and turn them off, as well as make sure your restrict background data is off. And now you have your exact same phone in a grayscale form. There's no difference to it besides it being its grayscale. But what this does is it allows you to have a much, much longer battery life. I've used this at a day at Disneyland and it extended my battery life dramatically that I easily got through the day when beforehand, after taking so many pictures, it was running out. So this is a great feature to conserve battery life without losing too much, just your color. A great feature in general on Samsung devices is is the multi-screen window. With multi-window, it allows you to open up two apps at the same time, and you will first and foremost get shown that if you hold down the back button, you will see all of these apps. And that's really nice. But what if you wanted to do it in a different way? Well, the really great part is, so you can normally just, you know, have two apps open at the same time. So we can have, um, let's say, your internet browser open at the same time as you're typing a document. Very simple and easy to do. However, what if we wanted to open this in a different type of form? Well, when you hold the multi window down, or sorry, just tap the multi window, you can actually just hold the app down and that'll launch in a pop-up app. This can be very, very useful. And instead of opening up in the full size screen, it'll open up in a pop-up screen a lot easier to move around and then you can even miniaturize which is very nice my favorite one for this though by far is camera this way you can just open up your camera app very simple and easy and it doesn't take up the whole screen now this is really nice because you can minimize it and then you can be playing a game you can be online and then as soon as you need to take a photo you just pop this open and take your photo very simple, quick, and easy to do. And that is how you open up an app in a pop-up window. 
Another great addition comes from the camera. Cameras always provide good hidden features that most people don't know about. And one of my favorites is how to download more filters as well as more camera modes. Now modes is right here at the top. And at first you're shown with just these. However, you can actually click first manage modes and see other ones that are actually hidden when you first start off. If you just tap the check, then they're added to it. Very simple and easy to do. However, another great feature is that you can also not only add these very simple and easily, just by going to download. When you click download, it will show you all of the rest of the photo taking experiences you can use. My two favorites are sports mode, because it does seem to work faster than regular photo taking, and uh, food, which obviously just makes your food pop, and I've done this for many Instagram photos. And finally, when you go to settings and hit this effects button, well, then you see all these different effects that you have built in, and you live preview them, which is really nice. But again, you can actually manage the effects, deselect some, and choose the ones you like, and then you can download more. And when I say you can download more, there are a lot more you can download for the effects section. Uh, really nice. Um, there are a certain amount at launch, but there's going to be more and more added to it. Uh, definitely, I have been known to have about 15 more effects um, and, of course, filter some out. But it's a really nice feature to have to download more effects. As it has been tradition, my favorite feature on Galaxy devices as of recent has definitely come from the video recording capability. Now, most people, uh, when you turn on the camera, you'll go to settings and menu button, and then you can go to recording mode right there in the middle. I like to keep it on the front, and if you want to do that, I do have a video on how to set up the camera. But once you have it here, you are going to see the different types of recording modes. You have normal, limited, text message, slow motion, fast motion. Slow motion makes more dramatic effect. Fast motion makes comical effect. And smooth motion. Smooth motion is the best way to film by far. It looks amazing. And it's currently what even movie uh, people such as James Cameron is trying to do for Avatar 2. It films in 1080p at 60 frames per second. It is amazing to look at and this is a sample of what was shot with on the note 3 so that's a little while back but still a great video but that's why it was so unstable because it didn't have the optical image stabilization that the note edge has now i did record one on my note 4 but unfortunately my girlfriend was in it and she wouldn't let me use it so it is a really really great feature and it just stands out so much I promise every video you film with this will shock and awe all of your friends. Now for the last hidden feature, it is a great one and one that a lot of people have liked on the Note 4, so I definitely wanted to show it off on the Note Edge. And that is highlighting a word and being able to define it and translate it. So on certain apps, you just can't grab one word. Like say if I wanted to grab this convention, I actually can't. I can only copy the entire text message. But with the S Pen, you can do a bit more. You can hold it down and then highlight a word very easily. Then you can copy and share it. But the really nice part is you can even define it. So you can tap dictionary. And this will tell you you can download the dictionary to it. And now we have my dictionaries. We can then check for updates and under manage dictionaries. There actually isn't more right here for some reason, but as you can see, it defined the word. Now when you do that again, after it's been downloaded, you can immediately highlight it, tap it, and it has defined the word very simply and easily. Now, if it doesn't have a word here, say if it was a word that it couldn't understand, you can then just maximize it and see the entire word and all of its different dictions. This makes it very easy to use. Uh, you can add favorites to it, 
you can uh, manage dictionaries. Normally you can add different dictionaries. Unfortunately, I guess this version only applies to the built-in one, which is uh, what some of my users found out when they viewed uh, my other phone was able to translate as well. On Depending on your carrier, they might have taken this feature out and it might be added back in at a later point. It's a really great feature to have and just something simple and easy to use. Hopefully you did like this feature. Those were the 10 hidden features on the Galaxy Note Edge. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.